What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be watching and reacting to The Walking Dead, Season 2, Episode 6, called Secrets. Um, before I get started, as always, if you guys want to watch full, unedited reactions, you can always subscribe to my Patreon. I will have the link in the description below, and I will have the URL right here in the video. Alright, let's go to get started. Ah. Uh, Guys, you might have to forgive me. I'm sleepy. I have been working 14 to 15 hour shifts all week long, and I'm exhausted. Today is Saturday, and I'm tired, okay? But I know these reactions got to get done specifically for my Patreon, so that's why I'm doing them. Um, so, I might look sleepy doing the reaction. I'm not bored or anything. I'm just sleepy. All right, last episode was a good episode. Um, yeah, Daryl going to look for Sophia on his own. Um, the horse ends up seeing a snake. When he goes on a horse, the horse see, sees a snake, gets scared, knocks him off, falls. He falls down a hill, sees Merle, and Merle talks shit, basically trying to motivate him or whatever. Um... But um, so he's basically the hero of the episode. Um, Glenn and Maggie plan on meeting to have sex again. He wants to meet in the barn or whatever, and goes there. She tries to run to stop him. He goes, she goes there and see a whole bunch of Walking Dead motherfuckers in there. Um, yeah, but before that, um, Daryl shows up looking like the Walking Dead. Nobody no notices who he is, and he ended up getting shot just a little bit by Andrea after she was told not to. <laughs> so that's basically where we're at right now. So here we go again, The Walking Dead, Season 2, Episode 6, Secrets. What the fuck you about to do with that chicken, man? Oh! Okay, what is the point? What's the purpose? Huh. Please tell me why your dad has a secret barn full of walkers. It's creepy. You know that, right? Just trust me on this, okay? But I suck at lying. I can't even play poker. It's too much like lying. You have to keep this to yourself. You have to. Please. But why, Maggie? What's so, up? I think. I think that's why. Oh my God, quit being paranoid, Glenn. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel like shit. Yeah, give me both. I don't expect you to forgive me, but if there's anything I can do... I'm trying to protect the crew. We're good. Shoot me again? Best pray I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Don't let it off that easily. <laughs> I'll make another run into town. Just tell me what you need. I need you to be quiet about this. Alright? Why does everybody want to keep secrets? Uh, hey, Why does everybody want to keep secrets all of a sudden? See what you got there. How the hell did this happen? Well, it's my fault. I, I let him into the RV. He said he, he wanted a walk. He could shoot. Sign him for one. So on top of everything else, he lied. But considering what's going on, I mean, he needs to be well, able to defend himself as well. There's walkers in the barn in Lori's Britain. Glenn, what the fuck? <laughs> saw walkers attack. Kill. They're dangerous. Paranoid schizophrenic is dangerous too. We don't shoot sick people. With all due respect. What? You are cut off from the outside world here. I've seen people that I cared about die and come back. And they're not people. They're people. I'm sorry. So let me get this straight. He thinks the walkers are people? I mean, they are, but they're dead. They're killing motherfuckers, you idiot. Too 
small. Come on, that's crap. Half hour ago, I saw you nail bulls out 25 feet. It wasn't moving. You think a walker's gonna hold still for you? <laughs> low, go again. Exactly. Take all that guilt, take that fear, that being pissed off, take it out. Right, because you're so calm. <laughs> See, I can be pissed off. I could be whistling Dixie, and I always hit the target. But you, God, you shoot like a damn girl. <laughs> Go on, shoot that son of a bitch. He's coming for it. He's nine feet. That's the walker that got Amy. Now you shoot that son of a bitch. Shoot him. Uh, he laughed. My wife was pregnant once. Miscarried, and we didn't try again after that. The thing that I remember most is how nauseated she became at the smell of cooking meat. The turkey. He's good. <laughs> Dale is good. She's she sitting up thinking that Glenn out. told him. <laughs> He's good. Until he was aired out, poor thing. I told him. What did you expect? The boy has no guy. No. Exactly. Memories that would keep me going now. Memories of what life used to be. And I... I got a deep well to draw on. I still remember joy. But I think Carl's well is already running dry. And this baby... I don't have any good memories at all. Only fear and pain. These walkers are going to be around forever. In my opinion. Maggie, I... I asked for your trust and you betrayed it. And my dad's pissed at me. If you'd seen that letter, you would not have a bar full of walkers. I wish you'd stop calling them that. But what do you expect call to be called? Yeah, exactly. Mom. Sean. Mr. and Mrs. Fisher. Lacey. Duncan. Oh, so these are really the pe people that they know. Okay. Okay, they don't want to really officially Push you on now. kill them. Okay, I got you. Oh, shit. Right, Glenn, do something. Oh, shit. Went away from him. Wow. Abortion pills. Sophia? I know they're going to die soon. I just don't know when. But I do know they're all going to die. That's a Carl. I didn't know how to tell Carol this was another dead end. Get the fuck out of there. Like I just said, get the fuck out of there. You dumbass motherfuckers. Aim for the head. Oh my god. Just get in the fucking car. Just get in the car. Just get in the fucking car. Get in the fucking car. Oh, god damn, what are y'all doing? There you go. That turned you on? <laughs> I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't fucking take it. Oh my God. Is that the abortion pills? What are you doing, Lori?
I really enjoyed this episode. This is a pretty good episode. Something you need to tell me? We can't leave. I'm pregnant. Are you? I threw him up. I'm not giving birth in a ditch. Not, not when it's life lying in my bed for a second. Now, when every cry will. We'll put it and then Carl and everyone we care about into tears. Oh, that's true. I didn't even think about that. Is there anything else I should know about? Oh, shit. Shane and I. <laughs> I mean, she thought you were dead, right? You thought I was dead. Yeah. I did not imagine him finding out like this. <laughs> that was a great episode, bro. Wow. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that was a pretty good episode. Uh, a couple of things happened, but more or less, moreover, it was good writing, good storytelling. Uh, I think I see where the writers is going. Um, sometimes when I watch a, a show or even a movie, if I don't see where the writers, if, where the writers are going, it, it confuses me and it bores me. Um, but I'm thinking I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to see where they're going or at least, or at least I think I do. Um, but I like how everything is coming together. Um, the way Rick found out about Lori, that to me, that's great writing. Um, <laughs> I did not see that shit coming on how he found out. I knew eventually he was going to find out. I said that way back in uh, episode four or three. Um, but I just didn't know when and I didn't know how he was going to find out. I, I had a feeling Lori was going to be the, be the one to tell him. Uh, I thought maybe because I thought she would tell him because of his uh, of her conscious, not because she's pregnant. Um, and the way Rick played it smoothly, like is there anything else I need to know? Because Rick is not dumb. He knew. No, you, yeah, okay, you're scared for this baby. Rick reminds me of myself. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not an idiot. And the girls I've been with, they cannot stand it. Okay, because I pay attention everything they do and I catch on quickly and Rick knew that it had to be more to it than she than, than her just being scared to bring a baby into this world and that's why he was like you know is there anything else I need to know <laughs> um that man is smart but that was great um her so at first, I didn't understand when he, when he was talking to Dale. I didn't understand at first, but then when Maggie was explaining to Glenn on why they have those walkers in the barn, okay, that makes sense. But at the same time, motherfucker, you know what they are capable of. It'd be hard for me to put my wife down as well. I mean, we saw that in episode one when um, Rick met. The black guy. I haven't seen him since episode one, so I forgot his name. Um, but anyway, how he was, he couldn't kill his wife. So, I mean, it is, it's very difficult to do, but, bro, they are dead. I'm beginning to think this Hartzell, 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 this Hartzell guy is not who they think, is not what they think he is. I think the man has fucking lost his mind. I think it's crazy. Um, Andrea and Shane have sex. Hey, bro. Now that, I never saw coming. Okay, I should have seen it when they, on the church episode, when the bell rang, when they started looking for Sophia on the episode, I think it was two. That was foreshadowing. 
that on that on that scene when she when she overheard Lori and Shane talking about him leaving, and she opted to join him. <laughs> I I should uh, <laughs> I should have saw that coming. Oh my god! I was told that this show do a lot of foreshadowing, but I did not see that coming. Um. I can't believe they ain't no fucking. And Dale, he picked up on it immediately. He knew something wasn't right. Uh, anyway, Maggie tells Glenn that she cares about him, which is, wow, I, I, I never saw that coming. Um, Maggie gets attacked attack by a walker and that turns on. I, 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 I'm seeing now that they, that, Getting attacked by walkers now is starting to turn these women on. <laughs> Y'all women are a goddamn trip. Y'all get turned on by the weirdest shit. Um, but anyway, anyway, I know if they get turned on by the guys protecting them and blah, blah, blah. I, know, I understand all that, but still. Fantastic episode, guys. I gotta go. Um, I gotta hurry up and get this uploaded to Patreon. And I got another reaction to do, so. Um, but yeah. So. If you guys like my reaction, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. Don't forget to click that bell for notifications when I upload my next video. You guys have a good day. Stay safe and be blessed. Peace.